Hey everyone! In this tutorial I want to show you how to set up a foot in Houdini. Uh, this foot functions like this. First of all you have control for moving and rotating it around. And of course you can rotate the leg direction. Then you can rotate uh, this foot from the heel, like so. It's very useful for walk, walk cycles. You can rotate it from toes and you have a foot roll that functions like this. So let's just get started. Uh, so we will begin with a few bones, just a few bones that I have created for our leg. And we start by simply adding a IK to the leg. To do that we select the bones tool, in viewport just select the tool bones. Here we want to select inverse kinem kinematics with twist effector. This is what we need for the, for the leg kinematics. Then we right click and select add kinematics. So here we have a tooltip that tells us Select the first bone chain and in the chain and press enter to continue. So we select the first bone, like so, and press enter. Then it tells us to select the last bone in the chain. So we will select the last bone and hit enter. And there you go. Just like so we have created inverse kinematics that controls our leg. And this twist effector controls how it rotates. Excellent. The next thing we do is to select the backwards foot roll. There is a trick to it and it's pretty simple. I'll just show you how to do it. So first we need to create inverse kinematics for this bone itself. That starts and ends in this bone and inverse kinematics for toes as well. So we simply also select the bones tool again. Here we select the inverse kinematics. Instead of this one with twist effector, we do not need one. We just select inverse kinematics. So now we select add kinematics and uh, again select the first bone in the chain, which will be this one. And then it prompts us select the last bone in the chain and we will select this bone again, so that kinematics starts and ends in this bone. And now we do the, the same thing for the toes. So again, add kinematics, select first bone, select last bone. As a result, we have three kinematics uh, here in the leg. First one that controls the leg, second one that controls the first bone, and the last one controls this one. Now we want them to affect each other in reverse. So that uh, rotation on the, the toes would transfer here. And rotation here would transfer to the heel. And it's very easily done. So as you can see these three null, null objects control our leg position. Here they are. They were created for us auto automatically. So to, to create a reverse foot roll, we simply parent them to each other in reverse. So we select the toe control and we parent the foot control to it. So this one parented to this one, like so. And now we want to parent this uh, control to, the, to this control, like so. So basically parted to each other in reverse order, like so. And as you can see, just with this simple little trick, here's what happens. This null controls the position of this null, so we can rotate our leg from the toes, and the position and the rotation on this null controls uh, this null. So it works like this and we have our foot roll. 
And finally, we want to be able to rotate from the heel if we want to have the general control for the leg. So let's begin by creating a control for the leg. We create a null object. We call it left foot con control. color coded with green color that's just the convention bonds are usually yellow and controls are green that's a good practice to do so now we want to position the control for our foot uh, right in this joint to do that there is also a simple trick we select uh, the leg the leg goal this null we parent this null to this null like so so it automatically jumps in this place and now we want to unparent it but keep its position so we select keep position with when parenting and just unparent it now we have our foot control in position of this joint so very cool and let's go to the misc tab and select control type to box And now we have a box control that will control our leg. Uh, finally, what we want to do is to create a null that will rotate our leg from the heel, which will be around here. Again, very simple. We create a null and call it left rotate from heel. We will position it uh, at the back of the foot. Again, we will just parent it to create the proper X position. We will unparent it. Extract pre transform to be able to see the transforms on the snarl and select Y to zero and now it is uh, located right underneath this control and now we can just move it backwards i'm going through this rather quickly but i think you can figure it out it's not a difficult part of the rigging anyway so now we have a heel control let's make it a little bit smaller and here's what we want to do basically because our leg is already uh, successfully rotating from toes all we need to do to rotate it from the heel is to simply parent toes uh, control to the heel control, like so. We just select the heel control and parent toes to it. So there you go. Now we just can move it like so. And we are rotating our foot from the heel. And finally, as you can probably guess, we can select our foot control and parent the heel control to it, like so. And now we have a foot control that rotates all of, all of our foot. Pretty simple stuff. So there you go. You can create, of course, controls that uh, look uh, the way you like and uh, then uh, control rotations of this of these controls with them let's uh, let's do one for example let's create a control that will uh, can uh, do the ball rotation so basically it will look like so again we create another now we call it left foot roll control Again, make it green. Position it over here. So again, we just parent it, parent it to the foot goal, like so. Keep position when parenting and unparent it now so that it stays in the same position, but now it's free to move around. And let's change its shape to circles on uh, why that plane 
so this circle will control the rotate now what we want to do is to just parent it to the foot control like so and we will create an expression that uh, changes this rotation so we'll we will copy rotate x parameter and go to the foot roll and paste relative paste copy it relative references excellent so now when we rotate foot roll uh, we have our nice rotation and we have our foot motion and we have our heel and we have our rotations for, from toes and there you go this is a pretty simple leg setup now finally there is one final trick that I need to tell you about that helps to avoid certain issues Uh -huh, there you go so if our leg is not uh, entirely vertical so if our bones have a little bit of twist over here when we are going to rotate our foot roll we will have these weird strange rotations happening on this bone so our bone will uh, twist on this at this weird angle and we don't want that to happen so we want our leg to keep pointing forward but even if it points forward as you can see here we have this this not good rotation on this bone so basically there is one simple thing that you can do to fix it we go to the king chops node and this node was created for us automatically when we were setting up the inverse kinematics and uh, here are three chains that control different parts of the leg and we want to go to the chain that controls the foot uh, inverse kinematics that controls this bone over here and this null and we want to uh, select its twist effector we want to create a twist effector that will always be above the, above this bone and we'll always tell it to point upwards that way its rotation will always be vertical so to do that we create a null call it foot twist aim and we want to move it uh, basically it will be parented to the to this uh, control to foot roll because it is the last in the chain in, of controls uh, so basically we go to this foot twist aim and parent it over here and then what we want to do is to uh, move it uh, above this bone so let's move it about two degree two units upwards maybe one unit so basically we want this bone to be always rotated in the direction of this null and now in king chops we will go to the kinematics that control this bone and on select twist effector over here and we will select this foot twist aim click accept and there you go and by the way uh, again sometimes sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but sometimes when you select the twist effector uh, the bone will flip upside down and you will just see that the deformation that you don't want to happen over here so to fix this you will simply select IK, IK twist and uh, set to 180 degrees and again this will fix this issue but do this only if you will encounter it if not then everything's fine so there you go now you know everything that you need to know to 
set up our leg. We will hide this foot twist aim and now we have uh, our leg with foot roll. So basically as you can see on the final setup, let's look at it. So here are our bones for the leg. You can see them over here. So here are our bones. And here are the controls. So this is foot control. I have created heel control uh, just to make it look prettier and parented it to foot control. So it controls this rotation. The same thing for toe control. And again, it's simply uh, rotation over here uh, controls the rotation of the um, of the goal of the IK over here. And there you go. I think it's pretty useful trick, and it allows me to set up legs very simply and easily and quickly. So I hope this was useful to you and if you have any question ab some questions about this uh, tutorial simply ask them in the comments and I will be happy to answer you.